Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 22nd of October 2021. Um, it's a Friday evening, early evening here in Bangkok. Um, I hear the sound of thunder uh, in the distance. Um, it hasn't actually rained but it's been, well it has rained a small amount but the thunder seems to be off in the distance and doesn't seem to be right overhead. I'm not sure if it's coming or going in a different direction. Um, but anyway, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, still no news on my cat for those um, interested. And I'm going to get on and play the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. And so uh, what can we see? I can definitely see the seven blocking down here. I'm sure you see it too. Seven blocking down here and seven blocking across here. Giving me a 70 place here. I'm sure you also see this five blocking down here, and this five blocking up here, and this five across here, and that's a five there. I see now a nine blocking up here, and a nine blocking up here, giving me a nine in this top uh, block, uh, block three, if you are one that likes to number them. <coughs> Oh, nines across here, nine across here, and a nine down here. A nice, simple, regular kind of pattern that we can see in all kinds of Sudokus, really. Can Sudoku be a, a plural? Can you, can you talk about Sudokus? I usually talk about Sudoku puzzles. Make puzzle my noun and have Sudoku as an adjective. I don't normally add an S to it, but I mean, you know, sometimes for variety we must mess with the language, don't you think? <laughs> Right, here's a two blocking down here and a two blocking up here and a two across here, so that gives us a two there. Now, nine across here, if I've seen this right, nine across here, yeah, nine across here and nine up here. So that gives us just the one place where we can put a nine, and we'll continue with nines because I've just seen nine up there, nine up there, nine across here. It's a nice, easy nine to spot there once we've got a few numbers, and we're still going on nines, and there's one empty block, I mean one block without a nine, so we can place it right now. <clears throat> Have we finally run out of easy ones? There were a lot of easy ones there, actually. I think we probably have had our quota. All right, let's uh, click on some, uh, let's highlight numbers and see if that helps us identify anything else. Uh, one, it's not gonna identify much because it's the only one there. <clears throat> what can I see now? Uh, what I see is I see twos in those squares, twos in these squares, twos here. I'm not going to put them in yet because I'm going to look and see if I can find any, identify any um, actual numbers first of all. That would be better, wouldn't it? Fours. Oh, a single four. So we've got a single one and a single four. Lonely ones and lonely fours. Fives are going to go as a pair there. Also going to go as a pair there. So, aha. Yep, 
look. Okay, so five blocking up here, five blocking across here. So it's going to give me a pair of fives here, which will block across here, five blocking up here. We can, in fact, place a five there. And five down here, five down here, five across here. Five across here will give us a five to place there. Um, we haven't finished fives yet, so what is left? Oh, I see. Okay. No, we can't quite finish. Um, six. <clears throat> Lots of pairs, it's going to be there, there, um, there, uh, there, there. <laughs> A lot of sixes available, a lot of um, paired, six, paired sixes, but um, I'm still looking to try and see if I can actually fit any numbers in before I put pencil marks in. Seven is going to power. Here we go. Seven blocking up here. Seven across here. So that's a seven we can actually um, 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 carve, carve in stone, let's say, there. <clears throat> okay, eight blocking across here, eight blocking down here. It's an eight to get there. And eight down, eight down. This is a very straightforward game so far, isn't it? I mean, one thing leading to the next thing, leading to the next thing kind of thing. Oh, eight blocking across here. That means eight's got to be down here. So blocking all the way down here. Uh, is that going to give us anything? Yeah, eight blocks across here, across here. Gives us an eight here, all right? And eight blocking down here, eight blocking down here, eight blocking across there. That's an eight to get there. <clears throat> Nine is actually a complete number. Okay, so uh, missing numbers from here, here, and here are two three and four, well th three obviously blocks these numbers, so this has to be three here. So this has to be two and four, but we've got an intersecting two here, so the two goes there, and the four goes there. Missing numbers here are what, one and eight. Um, it's not gonna affect much just yet. Uh, what else can I see that looks like it might um, deserve some attention? What's missing from this? One, three, and f oh, what's ah, what's missing here? One and three, is it? One and three, no, no help there. So here is one, three, and four in this block here. Four can't go there. <clears throat> but can we go in the other squares? Down here, one, three, and so there's a kind of pattern going on here, isn't there? <laughs> one, three, and six. The six is in these squares. And the one and three still don't know much about. Let's go back to highlighting again. I feel like I could do a little bit more highlighting just before I uh, try any other techniques such as pencil marks or whatever. Uh, I'm going to put them in twos on the scene there, right? And twos on the scene here. And up there, no, nowhere. Ah, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. No, this square here has to be a 2. We've got 2 blocking here, 2 blocking this square, 2 blocking this square, 2 blocking this square, so that has to be a 2 there. <coughs> Trees are like this. Yeah, not, nothing else we can say. Trees are a real problem, actually. Uh, fours are in. Oops, fours are in these two squares. And apart from that, we don't have any other. Oh well, two squares here, I suppose. Uh, not, not, no other real uh, limitations, I think. Uh, fives, fives are here and here. There's nothing we can do about those. Sixes. <clears throat> no, just as I saw them before. A uh, lot of pairs, but uh, nothing more substantial than that. Ha! Ah, seven. Seven blocking down here, seven up here, seven across here. Now we've got seven we can place there. Seven across here, seven across here, across here, and across here. Oh, no. No, we can't because we've got this three squares here, two over here, and two here. There's nothing doesn't doesn't match does it no, nothing um, that we can get there um, from our sudoku logic um, okay now I, I've done some things so I need to uh, look at some more rows or columns that have some placements already these three squares what are they uh, one four and six. Uh, well, we have a 6 here, we have a 4 here, no 1s, and I uh, can't really get more than that. What's missing? We've got 4 numbers missing here, let's see, we are missing uh, 1, well 3, 3 is going to be in this square or this square, because this 3 is going to block both of those. Uh, so, anyway, what else? 1, uh, we don't know anything about 4. No, one, four, three, and the other number is seven. Seven is in one of these two squares. No, that's no good either. Uh, what's missing down here? You can see I'm taking my time here. I hope you're not in a hurry, by the way. I'm not trying to go through this at breakneck speed. Um, because it's Friday evening and I've got nothing much else to do. So one, um, two, one, two, three, four, I think, actually. Um, hmm. Okay, so we've got blocking three here and here. So three is in this square and this square. The two, we have blocking here and the two blocking here. So the two is in this square and this square. Four. Ah, aha, aha, aha. Four and two, four and two, both block this square and this square. So we know that f um, if four and two are blocked here and here, this square and this square must contain four and two, and we don't know what it is, and this square and this square must contain three and one, and that is also useless. Bam! <laughs> I thought I was onto something. Um, well, okay, if this is 3 and 1, this must be 6. Oh, we knew that already anyway. So that meant nothing. No. Well, I think I've given it my best shot. Uh, I think I've given it my best shot at um, trying to go as far as I can 
before filling in candidates and that's about it so I'm going to go ahead and put in the candidates now so in here we will have one and eight um, what else uh, twos will be um, in these squares and these squares down here uh, threes will be here and here Here, here, and here, and here. This is a pair there as well. Okay, five. Oh, look, five is a pair where the twos are as well. Now, that I didn't take into consideration. Fives are a pair up here as well. I didn't realize it was both five and two in as a matching pair there so hmm oh well just didn't see it anyway I've got it now so let's see so six blocks up here like this six blocks across here like this so that is in fact a six in that square now we can say six across here six across here six down here that will be a six the three that we just overwrote will go there, and the four that we overwrote will go there, and the one will be here. And the last number down here, of course, is a three. Okay. Now, three and six both block this square, so three and six are going to be uh, here. And the other number that we need is a one. Let's put that in. So one blocks up, <laughs> not in that way, one blocks up there. So one is going to be along here, so that can't be a one, that's got to be an eight, and the one must be in this square. Um, this four means that that can't be a four, four has to be there. Now, one number missing in this column, it's, um, 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 what is it? Six, yes, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, so the six goes there, giving us a three there and a six in that square. Um, now we've got a four here, which means that that can't be true any longer. Uh, the missing number here has got to be a one and a two. Now we've got an intersecting one here, so in fact we know that one is, sorry, wrong mode. One is, wrong mode still, one is there, two is there. <coughs> One number missing in this row now, it looks like a four to me, so we'll place that there. One number missing across here, that's also a four, isn't it? There, and so this will have to be a four because now four blocking up here, four blocking up here, that's a four there. Uh, two numbers are missing here, and here they are one and seven, I believe. Now we have seven intersecting here. So that must be our seven, and this must be our one. Four now means that can't be true any longer. Four must be here. One number missing up here, it's a one. One is in this square here. Three is the last number for that block, and three is the last number for this column. Okay. Two numbers missing here are four and six. We have an intersecting four here, so four goes there. Six goes there, six across here, six blocking up here, six goes here, five goes there, five is in this square, and two is in that square. Two blocking down here, two across here, that gives me a two there. One number missing across here um, is a seven. Uh, what's missing from here? Three and Eight, I think it is. So we've got a blocking three here, so three must be there. Eight is in that square, 
one number missing here, it looks to be a one. Uh, one number missing from this column is a seven. And the final number to fill in is an eight. So uh, that's an interesting game. That's one where I needed to fill in a few candidates just to point me in the right direction, but didn't need to fill out all of the candidates. So, um, you know, uh, I noticed a lot of you managed to play uh, without notation. I find that very difficult. Um, but sometimes you don't need to actually have full notation where you fill in every single candidate that's available. I mean, and sometimes in the tough ones, you really need to do that if you can't go forwards. But sometimes um, in a game like this, just a couple of candidates can help to point you in the right direction. And, uh, you know, you don't have to rely on memory so much. You just can see a, a pattern and take it from here. Okay, so that's our Los Angeles Times expert level. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come back for more Sudoku, more cattails. I might tell you about my cat memories or something like that another time. Uh, and other irrelevant stuff that I chat about on the channel. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.